Hey all, it's Aurelius. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly put together an ebook, whether you're going to sell it or give it away as a lead magnet using a tool called Designer. The great thing about using Designer to create your ebooks is they have a range of templates you can choose and start from rather than starting one from scratch or using Word. And you can import existing blog articles to your ebook in Designer. If you use my affiliate link in the description below, I do get a cut out of it. You do land on this special page where it says buy now for $27 one time payment. If you do go to designer directly and go to their pricing, you'll see it's $29 monthly starting from uh, going all the way up to $99 for on the business plan. So in this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to create an ebook on that $27 one-time payment option. As a side note, if you do purchase through my link, I will provide you with 300 articles. Just follow the instructions below. And these are some of the articles that you'll get. There's 300 articles. There's a range of topics such as affiliate marketing, got meditation, health, got dating, happiness, influencer marketing, and so many others. And there's about five articles in each uh, with health being about 10 articles or so. So you can actually repurpose and use all these articles in part of, part of your eBooks. So in this demonstration, I will be using some of these articles to create my eBook. So let's say I wanna create some type of lead magnet to offer to my potential subscribers when they opt in. So that's the type of uh, content or more so the eBook that I'll be creating using Designer. Let's get started. Once you're logged in, what you'll need to do is to start a new project. I am in my demo account. So you can see that I'm, I don't have a account for this one. This is specifically uh, showing you how to use uh, the features of the one-time payment of $27 uh, option, right? So there are less features. If you do want to upgrade and export to something like a Kindle format, if you do want to publish to Amazon, then you will need a uh, need a pro account uh, at the bare minimum. So what I will be showing you is some of the options available on the $27 offer. Starting from the top, click on new project, or you can click on start a new project. Now, these are some of the options just to show you. You can import from your existing blog posts. So let's say you wanna mix and match about five articles or 10 articles from your blog and compile it into one ebook, repurpose it that way, which is a great idea. You can do so. Otherwise you can import from a Word doc, Google doc, or PDF to flipbook. So if you have an existing PDF that you wanna convert into a flipbook, they offer that on this plan. And as you can see, some of these with the locked icon, you can do things like merge drafts, import from a from a podcast, import from YouTube, import from PDF, import from video. You can also import from a Facebook page. This is available for free and import from a Facebook group and some of these other options. What I will be using is starting from a template. So click on start from template. You'll be given a range of these great designs that they've designed right here. And let's say I want to take some of these articles and let's say I am in the health niche. I'll choose something like uh, the keto diet. Here are a couple of articles here. I wanna choose maybe this one here, Stain Young, and uh, click on preview. Here's a preview of it. We've got the main cover page, sample table of contents, and a back page. So most of these templates provide the templates based on a cover page, a table of contents and a back page. That's what you'll find if you do preview it and load the template. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to click on use. The interface is somewhat similar to if you've used Canva before, however, of course, less features and it's more specifically for creating eBooks and you'll see some of this, these options here. If you click the plus uh, sign right here, uh, you can add components such as importing content, cover page, create a new page, back page, call to action, and some of these other options right here, which we'll run through in this tutorial. The first thing you're going to wanna do, obviously, is customize the cover page. And we can do so by either leaving some of the elements right there, if you do wanna put an author name, so let's say John Smith. So as you saw, I simply clicked, and then I was able to just edit it. Same thing with the title, just click it, double click right here, and let's say, uh, keto and change this to diet like that. You can also change the font style. So right here, select one of the ones available. Completely up to you. You can change the size as well, 72 at the moment. If you wanna change the background of your cover page, simply click the background and then there's an option right here. It's called set cover image. 
and then you can either drag and drop one right here. You can also search for an image and let's see health, see what comes up right here. And as you can see, these are the ones related to health. But let's say you're done with your cover page. The next step is to leave out the table of contents first. We'll deal with that after we've actually added our content. What you're going to wanna do if you wanna add a page for the actual meat of your ebook is to click the plus sign above the back page or the last page right here. So then that'll add that extra page above it. So click on that plus icon, add new page. And then what we're going to do is click on a new page, right? We don't want another cover page. We don't want a back page. So let's click on new page. That'll add a blank page as you can see with the footer page numbers and I'll discuss more about the footer and the page numbers later on. Let's start by adding a heading, right? So for our first content piece, we're going to click on plus, then where it says typography, click that, expand it and select heading. We're just gonna drag that at the top right here where you can see the blue now uh, container now highlighted. If we drop that, that'll add a heading placeholder. I'm going to open one of the articles provided in the bonus 300 articles pack. Let's say we want to select six foods to avoid. And I'll open this in my uh, notepad and show you what I'm seeing. All right, so we can see six foods to avoid on the keto diet. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is just copy that title. Of course, if you have written your own ebook or your text, then just write it in there or paste it in. I'm just gonna paste it in right there. So that's my heading done. Next step is to go back to typography. So we go here, under typography, we're going to add a paragraph. So click that, drag it in there, and then open my text editor again with that article. And you'll see with the first paragraph, I'm just gonna copy that remove whatever placeholder is there and then paste in that text piece. And that's what it looks like there. Another way to add new text is to simply double click underneath like so, and you'll see a new box appear. And then I'll go on to add the rest. So I might just put three of these paragraphs for now. So copy three points that is, paste it in. The reason why is because I wanna make sure everything fits. So I can see number two or the second points there. And we can see the third points right here. So that fits quite nicely. Now we do need another page. So therefore we can simply just repeat and add a new page right there. We want to click on new page. There we go, we've got a new blank page. And again, we can double click here. That'll just add a basic paragraph placeholder there. Going back to the article, I'll just copy the rest of the tips. Copy, go back here, paste it in. And then I'll just format this so it's nicely evened out with line spacing. There are other formatting options if you just highlight any text you want. Let's say I want to bold this point here. And then as you kind of bold that, you'll see another uh, palette, palette here and to bold it. And I, I use italics or underline, it's up to you. So fine tune it the way you want, format it the way that you want. For this demo, I will add another article. And just to show you what you can do to speed up things is you can simply duplicate using the duplicate page option. Click that. After you've duplicated, you can see there's two, just to confirm what you can do is arrange this duplicated version down the bottom. So right here on the right, maybe a little hard to kind of see, but I can see right here, there's two is just drag that duplicate, move it down right here where I want it. So now it's uh, down here. All I need to do now is just fill this in with the new article. So let's just choose another one. Busting four myths about ketogenic uh, diets. So I'll copy that. Again, repeat the same steps. I'm gonna paste it in. I'll copy this body text. So uh, let's see, we've got up to myth number two. I'll just uh, use this and it's uh, push the other side or the other paragraphs below. Let's just format this to neaten everything up. Go back to my article and just copy the rest. Now, if you can basically copy the whole text if you wish, but uh, let's check out what happens. So if we press enter, that'll move that 
block to the next area, which is why I like to kind of just double click and then add a new paragraph block and add uh, each kind of paragraph or whatever I can fit on each page. So what I'm going to do is just undo what I did and then move on here, paste it in or the rest of the tips or more so the myths for this article. I'll just remove this one block here, click on delete. And now I've got the four myths, right? Myth number one, two, three, and four. Now the back page, this is just kind of a page where you can summarize what this book's about. Now for the footer, we can also use this space to say something like copyright, you know, 2021 or whatever the year is, your company. However, if you are, side note, if you are going to use the articles provided in the 300 articles bonus pack, you can't copyright it obviously because there are other people who are using the same content and you can only copyright original work. What you can do is to say by John Smith or whatever you want on the footer. You could also put another great idea is to put your actual URL, so yourdomain.com. So then every page shows your domain as well. Now, if you do make changes to your footer and you wanna make changes to all the footers, you can see that I added that domain name, but it didn't take effect to all the other pages on all these other pages right here. What you can do is to basically click on the footer or more so the element specifically. And then we can click this option where it says apply text to all footers. Once you click that, it's gonna ask you, we'll apply the text from this footer to all page footers. Are you sure? Click on okay. And now you can see all the pages have taken effect with that new uh, footer text. In terms of the page numbering, you can see it's a little faint. So what I'm going to do is to change that color to, uh, let's choose black, all right, something like that. And same with the page number right here, choose black right here, so it stands out more. And here's what it looks like. The page numbering, how it works is, uh, let's let's actually apply it to all, footer, all footers right here. Again, let's click on this. And also for the page number, so it's two different elements actually. And then click OK. And now the formatting, the text is black. So in terms of the page numbering, if we go to settings, there's a section called uh, page numbering. Click on page numbering. And it says uh, text that appears before page numbering. You can add it or you don't have to. And what we can do is also disable the headers and footers. All right, so we can actually disable all this altogether, or we can disable enable it back so that every single page has a footer. On the topic of table of contents, what we're going to do now is to update this actual placeholder with the content of our ebook. So we can now click on the actual wrapper, so the table of contents wrapper right here. When you see that container, click that once. There's a refresh icon right here, refresh talk, click that. And now we've got the updated table of contents with the headings. So in order to find those headings for designer to find those headings, you need to make sure you use head the heading styling. So you can see this was the heading, heading two, which is what we added through the elements right here. And then under typography, we selected heading. If you just select paragraph, that's not going to work. So in order for the table of contents to be able to find those headings, we must use the heading tag. And just very quickly, there are some other options here on the elements. You can go to media and basically add your own image if you wish to do so. Just drag any of these to where you want it. So let's say I want it above right here. We can select that, drag and drop our image right here or select it from a computer and then that'll add it. So this is just a placeholder right here and we can just drag where, where we want it. So let's say right here instead. Uh, so that sits there and you can add other things. So let's go back to the plus, then we can also embed a video. However, it doesn't play straight on the uh, PDF document. Under layout options, we've got a two column, three column, four column and one third. So you can just simply drag it if you want kind of that magazine or newspaper style. Uh, for example, we can add a new page right here and I'll show you what I mean. So let's go back, 
choose a two column format instead. And so we one side we can add uh, text right here. So text, and then the other section we can add another text to, text to, so right there. And that's what the columns are for. Under Facebook, here are a few options. So you can see under shapes, there are some uh, shapes right here, some basic shapes as well as some random ones too. Once you're done with formatting your ebook, what you can do is to click on save. And what we do is click on publish so we can save it as a PDF document. So it's going to ask you, how would you like to publish? So the free option right here is to save it as a PDF. As mentioned before, if you do wanna save it as a Kindle format or e-readers, then you do need a designer pro plan. Give your ebook a name. So I'll just call this uh, Keto Diet and we can write our author name right here, plus some of these other options. Click on export. Now it says your ebook is ready. Let's click on download your PDF file. On Chrome, that'll open up in a new tab. And from here, you can click on download. That'll save it to your computer. But here's what it looks like. We've got the cover page. As you can see, the table of contents. Now let's say we wanna jump to busting four myths about ketogenic diet. We click that, that'll go straight to that page Here's the footer that we added. You can see the domain name, everything else, and looks pretty good. And now your ebook's ready to be distributed, shared, or sold. If you ever do need to come back to your ebook to edit it, just go back to your designer account, go to my projects, and then we can click on edit. And then you're given all those settings, options, and features again to be able to customize your ebook. And that's how to quickly put together an ebook using designer. Again, if you are interested in those 300 articles that you can repurpose, rebrand as your own and edit as you wish, feel free to look in the description below where I've got a link directly to that $27 offer. And then once you do uh, claim your copy, simply send me your receipt for me to then send you a copy of those 300 articles. If you enjoyed and got value from this video, by all means, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future tutorials like this. In the meantime, do watch these next relevant videos.